Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you an original book tag. As you see him from the thumbnail itself, it's the Squid Game book tag. If you don't know what Squid Game is, I don't know what you're doing online. Squid Game is just a Korean Netflix show which has been going so globally viral. I watched it just a week back and I should say that it is totally worth the hype and I think everyone needs to watch it. After watching the show, I saw many people doing videos in different niches of YouTube itself that is related to Squid Game and I did not see anything related to it in Booktube. So I went forward and uh, thought of making a book tag. So in this book tag there are totally six questions, each question based on one of the six games that the players play. But before getting into the questions, I have one question for the people who have already watched the show just like me. Tell me in which game you would have got eliminated from the show. Personally, I think I would have been eliminated from the first round which is red light, green light itself because I would have got confused with the rules and I would have moved and got eliminated if you know what I mean. And also for people who are interested in consuming more content from the same world, I've linked a small book of facts about Squid Game that is available for free to read if you have Kindle Unlimited in the description. It is not an affiliate link. You can go and check it out if you're interested. And if you have Kindle Unlimited, you can just read it for free. I read it for free and it was very fun. So without any further ado, let's get into the questions right away. Question number one, red light, green light. Name a book that started out great but had many interruptions that almost killed you. For this, I'm going with a very recent read of mine. And for most of these questions, the answers are going to be the books which I recently read. And for this, I'm going with The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Okay, this is one of my most anticipated reads for 2021. And I can say that this was a huge disappointment for me. It started out wonderfully. Okay, but as the book progressed, nothing was literally happening at all. And towards the climax, it just felt like, what was the point of me reading this book? The setup of the book is awesome and also the prose is very very gorgeous but apart from that I don't see anything that is worthwhile reading this book at all. It is very engulfing and I want to be a part of the night circus but during multiple instances reading this book just felt like it was killing me from within because I was not at all getting anything that I wanted out of it. I've also made a recent video in which I've talked about the reasons why I did not like this book and what are the things which I did not like from this at all. If you're interested you can definitely go and check that out. Question number two, Honeycomb, name a book that is sweet and sinister at the same time. For this, I'm going with The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. I just read this last month and I can say that this was very wonderful to read, okay? The prose of the author and the amount of atmosphere buildup that he gives just makes me feel like I am in that place with the characters while everything is happening around them. But one thing which many people don't talk about at all when it comes to The Lord of the Rings is that it has this sense of darkness that is embedded during multiple parts of the story. And that's this section in a place called Weather Talk that happens inside the book. And while reading that particular chunk and chapter of the whole book that involved that particular place, it felt very frightening for me. And I'm not a person who scares that easy but it just got under my skin in some way or the other. It is a really sweet book, okay? The friendship between the different characters and the way in which they interact with each other in the beginning and how it turns around towards the end of the book is something that is so sweet to read. At the same time, there's also the sinister element going on parallel with the plot because of the antagonist in the book. Question number three, tug of war. Name a book with many unlike characters that aren't usually a taste but you ended up loving. For this, I'm going with Anxious People by Frederick Parkman. I was interested in reading this book because I read A Man Called Uva in the summer of this year and I can say that that was one of the most heartwarming books that I've ever read but this one surpassed it for me because all of these characters that are written by the author in this one are incredibly awesome okay. There are totally 11 characters whom we focus on and the story also keeps on shifting between first person, second person and third person's point of view which I just found very very interesting while reading and the way in which he has actually narrated the stories of all the 11 characters within these 300 pages and making them feel like real life people was which I really did not see coming at all and it just took me off my feet and I ended up loving this book and I'd highly recommend this to anyone who is looking out for a read like that because after reading this book you'll just be filled with hope and happiness and a sense of warmth and I'm sure that everyone wants that in their life. Question number four, Ganbu, name a book with a very strong friendship or betrayal. For this, I'm going with Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. Fun fact, this book is also available as a Netflix adaptation. I have not watched it yet, but I definitely want to watch it. This is definitely one of the best books that I've read when it comes to dealing with friendship and the real life aspects of friendship. It doesn't feel like a fictional novel at all. It just feels like two people's life has been written as a book by the author. And the author also specifies in the end note that this is one of the most personal books that she has written so far. This book has all the things that come along with friendship which include jealousy and betrayal as well. If you're looking forward to read a book which has a very strong and rooted friendship, you definitely have to read this one. It'll be a bit slow at times, but I can ensure that by the end of the book, you'll just feel so happy for having read this because the friendship between these two main characters, Kate and Tully in this one, which has developed across three decades is just so staggeringly real and it'll just make you feel like you want this kind of friendship in your life. Question number five, 
glass tiles name a book with a series of character deaths after framing this question itself i could just think of one series because it has a ton of character deaths and i'm talking about a song of ice and fire or game of thrones by george r r martin and the specific book which i've chosen from all the five books that are out so far is the last one which is a dance with dragons i can say that this is definitely one of the most powerful books of the series it is unnecessarily long just like any of the other books in the series also but i can say that the character deaths that occur in this book are far more poignant and they have a lot more things to bring up in the rest of the two books that are to be published in the series i just hope that those two books come out soon and we get a better ending for a song of ice and fire compared to the game of thrones show because the ending of that show just sucked and everyone out there knows it so when it comes to character deaths any time if you ask me i'll just go for game of thrones and specifically this book At last, the final question. Question number six: Squid Game. Name a book with a nail-biting duel. For this, I'm going with Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. This is the first book in the His Dark Materials trilogy. I have not read the last book alone, but that's this duel which happens between two armored polar bears in this one, which is very exquisitely written. Okay, even in the adaptation of this book, that is the HBO show His Dark Materials. That particular scene, which involves a fight between two polar bears, is very well depicted. The emotions of both these animals, in their rawest form, is purely written by the author. And I can easily say that while you are reading those scenes, you don't see them from the point of view of a human being. You just see them from the point of view of a wild animal that is actually fighting just to kill and win. Okay, it's definitely not something which is very grotesque and. violent but very skillfully written so that it just delivers that punch which needs to be delivered while we see a fight between two animals at the same time it does not get so dark that it is not advisable for young readers so i can definitely say this is one of the most nail biting duels that i've ever read so yes guys those were all my answers and don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below because i'd like to know them and if you know any other booktubers who would be interested in doing this tag please do mention them and ask them to do and if you have not watched the show please do go forward and watch it because it is definitely an awesome show and i'm sure that if you can stomach violent content you'll just totally love that show so yes guys that's it for today and if you did enjoy watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day